By the way, this is our 13th annual December mini symposium, and um, we have uh, one of our first ever graduates in the program over here, and our most recent graduate. So it's kind of an interesting cross section of panelists that we've got here. So uh, does anybody have any like anything that's come clear for you as you've traveled beyond the walls and classrooms of Camus High School that uh, has like stuck out to you as you've continued your educational journey and lived your life? post high school that you wanted to just kind of share to us. Words of wisdom, inspiration that you have for us. Anything at all that's coming clear? Jason, I thought you were getting ready yeah. to go. <laughs> sure, I'll say something. So, I think, I really think high school is like a time where you, you have the freedom to choose how you use your time and whether you use that for anything productive or, uh, I mean, I used a lot of my time for stuff that was unproductive. So, <laughs> I think this continues on to college. Like, you guys are still a few years away, but currently, right now, uh, I'm only taking three one hour courses a day. So, the rest of the time is, I guess, free time that you can either choose to do homework, study, or fun stuff. And I guess high school prepares you to uh, make that choice on what to do because once you're in college, if you make bad choices, I guess your bad choices get really like accentuated, you know. So, uh, be good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was also say, hang in there, because I was like, why is everyone hyping up college so much? But it is great, so don't worry about it. Um, but I guess kind of going off of what he was saying in terms of having a lot of free time, uh, one thing that I have felt, first, I don't want to say I have any words of wisdom because I've been in college for like, what, four months? Uh, but I do feel like you have to be much more intentional, just because you have so much free time and everyone's taking different classes. Like, and when I say being intentional, like being intentional with how you spend your time. So like, I feel like in high school, you're always around like a lot of your same friends, like you're in a lot of the same classes, you're together all the time. Um, but in college, I feel like you have this opportunity to like not only choose what you want to study and learn, but also who you want to spend time with, um, like who you want to connect with. Um, and that's another thing that I feel like I've found more in college, like. I think the stuff that makes me the happiest is like connecting with people, um, even more so than my classes, which I love as well. But like, I think that's important in high school, but it's just even more so. Um, college, yeah. People are. I'm not in college right now. Um, so senior year, I was super stressed out at the whole college application process. Um, and like exactly a year ago. I kind of got the idea to do a gap year, and I was kind of thinking, no, would I actually do that? No, I wouldn't do that. And I was like, I'm going to do it. So I decided to take the gap year, um, and I, I'm just solo backpacking around the world right now, as I'm home for a few weeks. But I think, because I've been, since I graduated, I've been to 13 countries um, by myself, and that definitely teaches you a lot about um, life and like looking back on high school. I would definitely say, as cliche as it sounds, like relax a little bit. Um, I was super high strung, type A, um, throughout most of high school, especially freshman and sophomore year. Um, but really, everything is going to be okay. Like you guys are doing all the right things. Um, I was super impressed by all of your presentations. If you keep doing what you're doing, like and just relax a little bit and make time for friends, I think things are really going to be okay. And also know that. You don't, like there are other options besides going straight into like the top school or whatever your plans are. Um, I know the gap year so far at least has definitely helped me to figure out what I really want, what's really important to me, as opposed to just jumping into something that I thought was the right decision but probably wasn't for me in the first place. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, also advice so far. Um, for me, I think when I was at this phase in my education, I knew I wanted to go into medicine, and I think I was kind of hung up on how long the schooling would take. And I, I remember expressing that concern to my parents and things like that, um, just because it seems like it's so far away, and it's going to feel like forever until you're doing what you actually want to be doing. Um, and I remember my mom always telling me, like, the time's going to pass anyway. Like, just just do what you love and what you're excited about. And um, I I tried to follow that, and I think like I I've been out of high school now, but a lot of years, six years, um, and it's been awesome. I've been really, really excited about what I've been involved in. I mean, first year of med school now, and I still have a really, really long way to go before I am like at the pinnacle of my career, but um, don't get stressed about the length of time it's gonna take, I would say, because like all, all phases of that process are awesome, and you'll enjoy every, every step of the way, and I think the most important thing is just like find what makes you excited and just 
pursue that. And don't worry about the logistics so much. Um, it'll all fall into place. Yeah, I also definitely agree with that. Just being open to your options. It's very exciting to come from high school and being in a smaller environment and then branching out to college. It's very exciting to just kind of experience all the options that you have. So I don't know if you all have an idea what you want to do yet, but if you don't, really it's way too early to know. You really don't know if you're sure about something until you go and try it. So in college, that's the best time to go take different classes, as many as you can, and just have fun with it, really. And again, like a lot of us have said, your friends are very important. You'll meet a lot of people. I think people are definitely the most important thing. So don't get too hung up on your achievements, your grades, things like that. Those things will come and go, but your relationships are, are going to be really important. Um, and then as far as medical school, if you guys are thinking of medicine at all, this kind of research kind of prepares you for the overall, um, just basically what you do the rest of your life. If you go into medicine, you will do a lot of this kind of thing. And I felt like just having that experience in high school really made it a lot easier in college and in med school. You have the same structure. It's, it's all the same thing, just different topics. And you'll find it really helpful, um, especially in medicine, maybe in other fields as well. But um, just be encouraged that this is really good for you guys. But yeah, I was very, very impressed. Just kind of to quickly go off of that, like I did a little bit of um, like political science research this semester, and the way that Magnet is teaching you how to write and think, um, a lot of that actually carries over directly to social sciences as well. For some reason, I never really thought about that, but it's the, it's the truth. Um, and just like learning how to present and talk about your ideas um, in an articulate way, like that will always be important. Too. The soft skills, right? Um, you know, public speaking, interacting with people. Um, whether you're going into the hard sciences or not, um, that's definitely going to be something that we hear from our graduates that will support you as you just wrote. Can I do one more little thing? Sorry. Okay. I feel like in high school and still in college, I, I still have no idea what I want to do with my life. Um, but like in college, there's a lot of pressure to like figure out what you want to study, and there are always voices, like whether it's from like your parents or your peers, about like what's a sensible career, or, like what you should do. Um, and sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out like what other people want and what you want. And I would just say, even in high school, like just really think about like what are the classes, like what what actually excites you and makes you curious. Um, not necessarily like what you think maybe like oh, I should be doing this um, because other people are telling me to. Like what do you what really makes you excited and go for it. What questions? If you kind of had an idea of what you might want to do, how did you like figure out what college you wanted to go to? Um, for me personally, I had no idea what I wanted to do, uh, which is why I chose uh, the college that I did because I felt like um, there were enough resources in most departments that I would be able to get a good education no matter what. So I actually chose uh, the college I did because of indecision because like I don't know what I want. Yeah, I think another thing to say about that, like I'm currently looking at colleges right now, so I'm going next year, but I think as long as, like you say, as long as the schools you're looking at are well resourced for a variety of things, if you're not sure what you want to do, like if you're not sure what you want to do, I would avoid going into like a highly specialized tech school or something like that, um, because obviously if you're not sure that you're into um, technology and engineering, you don't know if that's going to be the best fit for you, and then you're kind of stuck, and you invest in that position, so I definitely look at places um, to have a variety of different resources and programs, that'd be good for you. You mentioned the word fit, and I think that's like a huge part of how you come to choose on a college, and that will come later as you're um, like touring different places and things like that, but I mean, in reality, you're going to get a great education no matter where you go, so I think you have to think about the other stuff too, of like what kind of community you want to be part of, and like things outside of school that you could be involved in, and stuff like that that also is going to be really important. So I ended up choosing WashU. I also had the same reasons. I did not know what I wanted to do. I knew that they were very strong in medicine, but I didn't know if I was really going to do that. So if I decided to change my major, I was going to be able to find anything I wanted there. But also, I think it was because it didn't have like a common app, an essay, or like a supplemental essay. So there's that too. I don't know if they still have a common app. You can just submit your Well, the bell 
looking at right here in a couple of seconds. Um, any final thoughts you want to pass on before we? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um, as this might like, sound kind of overwhelming as it's not meant to come across that way, but a lot of these things are up to you. Like the friends you make, what you want to study, how you take on the rest of high school, how you take on the rest of college. I know especially in magnet, it feels like you're supposed to do everything a certain way or fit a certain mold, but a lot of these choices, like who you become, what you study, happiness, etc., a lot of that is your choice. So like for me right now, when I decided to do this, I cared a lot about what other people thought about me not going to college right away. But it has been a good decision, and ultimately it was my choice. So that's just something I'm going to pass on to you guys. Everybody, let's give it up for our